Sunscreen is the best anti-aging cream, particularly if it's got an ingredient called bimetrezinol, which we'll come to shortly. We know from multiple studies the powerful effects that sunscreen has on skin aging. Take for example this one published in 2013. It involved 903 adults and in the group that were randomized to use daily sunscreen, they had no detectable increase in skin aging after four and a half years, which is epic. It shows that if we use sunscreen every day, we can effectively stop our skin from aging. We've also got published clinical photographs of the powerful effects of sunscreen. Take for example this 92 year old who used sunscreen on her face, but not her neck. The trouble is there are some concerns about certain sunscreen ingredients. Broadly speaking, we've got mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. And some chemical sunscreen ingredients that have been found to be absorbed through the skin and into our bloodstream. Now it's important to note that there are no known harms from these ingredients when they are absorbed. However, studies in rats have expressed some concerns that application of large amounts may have endocrine effects where in the rats some of the sunscreen ingredients were disrupting hormone levels so-called endocrine disrupting chemicals but that's the rat research currently in humans the studies have been reassuring with no evidence for hormone effects furthermore the american academy of dermatology states unambiguously that sunscreen is safe to use nevertheless because of these concerns some people elect to go for mineral sunscreens for example zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Neither of those ingredients are absorbed into the body and therefore cannot cause any issues with hormone levels. So you might be thinking, why shouldn't everyone use mineral sunscreens? Well, there are trade-offs. Chemical sunscreens generally provide a more complete UV protection than mineral sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are also more resistant to water and sweat, so they're usually a better choice if you're swimming or if you're doing physical activity in the sun. And many people prefer chemical sunscreens because they're far easier to apply and have a lighter consistency. Which brings me to bimetrezinol. Bimetrezinol is a fantastic chemical sunscreen ingredient. It's photostable, meaning that it doesn't get broken down by the sun's UV radiation. It offers complete protection against the different UV wavelengths. But most important of all is its size. Because it's a large size, it doesn't get absorbed through the skin. And it doesn't get through our cell walls. We've got human clinical research proving that bimetrezinol is not absorbed through the skin and doesn't enter the bloodstream. We've also got single cell research showing that bimetrezinol does not affect hormone levels of the cells. Overall, this thorough testing proves that bimetrezinol is safe to use even at high levels. Bimetrezinol is sometimes listed as its full chemical name, and the sunscreen that I personally use has bimetrezinol as its primary ingredient. It's from La Roche Posay, and it's called Invisible Fluid Facial Sunscreen. To be clear, I am not affiliated with La Roche Posay in any way, but before going to buy a sunscreen that has bimetrezinol in it, there's a problem. Even though bimetrezinol was discovered in the 1990s and it's been available in the European Union since 2000, it is still awaiting FDA approval so it's not available in the United States. Which is incredibly unfortunate. Now it's not that we're worried about the safety of bimetrezinol, it's simply that the FDA hasn't approved a new sunscreen ingredient for literally decades. So for example, if you have a look at another La Roche Posay product, even though it's very highly rated, it does not contain bimetrezinol. It uses different chemical sunscreen ingredients. It's hoped that the FDA will finally approve bimetrezinol by mid-2024. So in the meantime, what should people do who live in the USA? Well, you can consider any of these sunscreen brands that are listed on the Canadian Dermatology Association's website. And if you did want to be ultra safe, you can go for a mineral sunscreen, for example Elta MD that uses zinc oxide, or Lean Screen SPF 50 mattifying zinc. But there is one final problem, vitamin D. If we're all always wearing sunscreen, then surely we will have low vitamin D levels, but there's an easy fix for this. Personally, I supplement with 1000 international units of vitamin D every day. This makes sure that I never become vitamin D deficient. And if you're looking for other supplements that make a difference for human health, make sure to check out this next video here. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment and no, they do not sell a sunscreen.